In this presentation, we will enter a journal entry related to the payment of payroll taxes. Before this point, we have recorded payroll taxes for both the employee and employer portion. Now we're going to work on the payment of those payroll taxes. The recording of the employee and employer portion of payroll taxes came from the register as well as a worksheet for the employer portion. In other words, we have four employees here, four employees represented by this set of numbers. If we sum those up, then this 48719 is the regular pay for the four employees. We took from that the OASTI, Social Security, the HI, the Medicare, the FIT, federal income tax, group insurance, union dues, 401k plan to get to the net pay. This information was used in order to create the journal entry related to the employee payroll. Then we used this worksheet in order to create the journal entry for the employer portion of, of um, the taxes, including their portion, our portion as the employer of OASDI, Social Security, HI, Medicare, uh, FUTA, Federal Unemployment Tax, and SUTA, State Unemployment Tax. Then if we look at the result then on our trial balance, which is always nice to have a trial balance when recording journal entries, We'll see that we have the FUTA OASDI here, 6,063.10. The, uh, th this is, this is the FICA OASDI Social Security. And then the FICA for the HI Medicare, the FUTA Federal Unemployment Tax, the SUTA State Unemployment, and the FIT Federal Income Tax. These then are what we're going to pay now. These are liabilities. They include both the employer and employee portion of the taxes. So in, in other words, this Social Security and Medicare includes the tax both from what we took out of the employee wages and what we owe for the employer half as well. The FUTA and SUTA, uh, the FUTA will be an employer tax and the SUTA for our case will be an employer tax. The FIT federal income tax for employees is just an employee tax. So that's going to be here. Uh, we're not paying any FIT. It's all coming out of the uh, check of the employee. So if we build this journal entry then, what we're doing in essence is we're just saying, hey, these are the things we owe. We're going to make payment for them. Note that if we made payment in practice, we would probably have to group the payment in terms of federal taxes and state taxes. Probably uh, we're going to group then the OASDI and the Social Security or the HI, meaning the Social Security and Medicare would both be going to the to the Fed, which we may group in one payment. We, we may have a separate payment for FUTA and a separate payment for SUTA because it's going to the state. Um, and so just note that the, the groupings of the payments as, as to uh, how we're going to write the checks and the groupings of the payment could differ. But the point is that after we have these liabilities, we will be making the payment in the future. We're going to record the, the, the journal entry re related to making the payment, which will be similar to any type of payable account, such as the accounts payable, meaning uh, the liability goes up and now we're paying it and the liability goes down as well as cash goes down. So to, to create this, we're just going to say, okay, we had 215, uh, account 215 for OESDI, credit of 6,061.10. We need to make it go down to zero because we're going to pay it off. So we're going to debit it, do the opposite thing to it, 6,061.10. Same thing for HI, we have, uh, and then if we post that as we go, apparently, we're gonna post that as we go, it goes down to zero. That's what we want to happen. So we're gonna make all these go down to zero. Then the HI and the Medicare, same thing. We're gonna say it has a credit here, we're gonna debit it, doing the opposite thing to it. And if we post that as we go, it's gonna make it go down to zero, that's what we want. Then we've got the FUTA, has a credit in it, so we're gonna debit it for that same amount. Then if we post it, it's gonna go down to zero. And then we have the SUTA, which again is going to be debited for that same amount. Then if we post it, it's going to go down to zero. And then we have the FIT, which is going to be, it's a credit here, so we're going to debit it for the same amount. And then if we post it, it's going to go down to zero. Then if we add all these up, it, it should add up to what we're going to pay, which is, will be the check here. So that's going to be the credit. So what are we going to actually pay if we have pull up the old calculator here? 6063.1 plus 1417.98 for Medicare plus 125.38 for FUTA plus 867.56 for SUTA 
and 899.13 for FIT. That gives us 9,373.15 and uh, something must have gone wrong there. Let's try that one more time. We're going to say 6063.1 plus the 1417.98 plus the 125.38 plus the 867.56 and the 8599.13 gives us 1773.15. That's how much we're actually going to pay. So that'll come out of cash. Cash is a debit. We're going to make it go down by doing the opposite thing to it, a credit, bringing the balance down to 554 660 and 74 cents now if we see the whole thing then here's our journal entry at the end our what happened here is is the cash went down and the liabilities have not now gone down because we paid them off in a similar fashion as any payable type account similar to how accounts payable would be note two no effect on net income just like when we pay off accounts payable we haven't incurred the expense at the point in time that we paid the cash we incurred the expense prior when people worked and when we recorded the uh, journal entry at that point. So uh, when we pay off the payable, no effect on these accounts down here. Um, no, These are all liabilities accounts and an asset account. No revenue or expense accounts. If we look at the GL, it could be useful to look at the GL to see how this all ties together. So here's our journal entry. We posted the FICA OASDI here. Before we did that, we had 6,063 in it. That was the employee portion of FICA Social Security and the employee employer portion, bringing us to 6,063.10, then we paid it off. That's gonna be how this payable account should look and how most payable accounts should look if it's a nice even payable, meaning the liability goes up, so it's gonna be the employee and employer portion every time. And then at some point later, a little bit later, when we make the payment, it goes back down to zero. And then if we do the same for HI or Medicare, same thing. It was at 1,417.98. We paid 1,417.98, bringing it down to zero. So same pattern. It's going to go up by the employee portion, up by the employer portion, and then we pay it, goes down to zero. FUTA, we have the FUTA over here. It was at 125.38. Then we paid 125.38, goes back down to zero. Note there's only one portion, only the employer portion. And then we paid off the employer portion. There's no matching there. We can see that in the GL. And then if we go to uh, the FIT, so we have the FIT here. And it started at, it was at 8,000, 599.13. It's going, we paid it, then it goes down to zero. Note again, there's only one entry here, and the reason there's one entry is not because is because it's an employee portion, meaning this is not an employer tax. It only comes out of the employee paycheck. So this is an employee tax that we paid off, no matching here. Then we have the SUTA, which is the state unemployment tax, and that's going to be, it was at 867.56. We brought it down to zero. We're paying off the SUTA. Again, typically in our problem, it's only a... Uh, employer tax it could have an employee portion depending on the state but that'll depend on the state we're gonna mirror here uh, in essence the employer function of it and many times it'll it'll mirror kind of the futa and the suta will be similar in uh, in in the way it's constructed oftentimes depending on the state the end